let's talk about the top five small towns. These will fit those of you looking for small rural living and people who want small town living while still having restaurants and things to do. We will look at housing, things to do, and what you will experience in these small Idaho towns. So let's take a look at the top five small towns near Boise, Idaho. My name is Brady Fagel and I am a Boise local and a real estate agent. So I have a unique perspective on the Boise area. The first small town on my list is the smallest town in the Treasure Valley, which is the area of Boise where all of its suburbs are, and that's Middleton. Middleton is about 45 to 60 minutes outside of the city of Boise. There are around 11,000 people here. We'll talk about another town later that is, is more rural than Middleton, but Middleton is the most small town here in the Treasure Valley. You still have new construction homes and suburban neighborhoods in the city center, but the majority of Middleton is acreage properties and you know your farmhouse properties and neighborhoods with half an acre. And it makes the top five for a number of reasons. One of those is that I just know a ton of people that absolutely love it out there. They love the BLM land, the small town community, the Boise River that is right in town. Middleton also has a number of parks with splash pads. And I have seen people who used to live in areas like Meridian or Boise, which are the bigger suburbs, who moved to Middleton and absolutely love being out there. But these are all people who want to live in a conservative small town. And then again, that's that's what this video is about and probably why you're watching it. The, the home prices in Middleton are also lower. Star Next Door, which is a, a little bit bigger than Middleton, but it's, it's still a smaller town, is substantially more expensive and is connected to Eagle, Idaho, which is the most expensive suburb. But Middleton has, has still not grown enough to connect to the other suburbs. So you still have tons of open spaces around you. And the most unique parts of Middleton are, are the Boise River. This is one of the only small towns in the area that has the Boise River. And Middleton has its own school district as well, which is a great school system from, from what I've heard over the years. And a few of the small towns on the list and in the, in the area are incorporated into the large school system. So it doesn't have as much of a small town influence versus M Middleton, which has its own school district. So there's a little bit more of a unique small town feel there for those if you guys have kids. And as I mentioned, I am a real estate agent and a Boise local. If you are moving to the Boise area now or you're thinking of moving in a year or two, text or call me anytime. Really, even if you just have questions, I'm, I'm happy to help. I want to help you make the right decision for you and your family. And I am the one that, that works with you. No other agents on my team. I, I walk with my people the whole way through. So hopefully these videos help in, in the meantime. And if they do help, hit the subscribe button. It does help me and other people out and it helps you not miss any videos. The next small town on the list is, is one of my personal favorites, although I might be biased because I live here and me and my wife plan on staying here for a long time, which might show you that it deserves to be on the list. Or you might think I'm crazy by the end of this. We'll, we'll find out. But CUNA is south of Boise, about 20 to 30 minutes. And it's nice because even though CUNA is, is 30 minutes outside of Boise, you're close to the interstate and a lot of the amenities. If you take Meridian Road down to the interstate, it's really only about 10 minutes to get to the interstate. And then at that intersection as well, there's a Winco and the Roaring Springs Water Park and Wahoos, there's a Home Depot, a Walmart. So just 10 minutes away, you have some of those amenities. And then we're also gonna be getting a Costco some, somewhere in between here and the interstate as well in the next couple of years. And so CUNA is growing and it's, it's, a, it's bigger than Middleton, but it's still a small town and you really get a small town feel. Living here and going for walks and experiencing the people here, there's really a small town community feel. And sometimes it feels even smaller than some of the less populated suburbs like even in Middleton because CUNA is out on its own little bubble here. So we don't have to deal with suburbs surrounding us and people driving through on the main highways. And so it can actually feel a lot smaller. Sometimes there's a lot less traffic than some of the other small towns and suburbs surrounding Boise. The prices of homes in CUNA are also great. It's it's probably a little bit more expensive than Middleton now. It, they kind of go back and forth as the markets shift, 
but you can find uh, amazing homes out here. There's a ton of new construction. Uh, so you have a lot of starter homes. There's also homes out here on, on acreage or on half acre lots. You have places like Indian Creek Ranch, which has waterfront properties on Indian Creek in, in the summer. That's, that's a flowing river that you can flow and walk along. And those houses are really amazing. You have places like Valor, which is a lesser known resort style community where you have a resort pool, you have pickleball courts that are gonna be indoor, you have them outdoor already. There's gonna be a bar and a grill. You have golf course and an indoor gym, and you have a ton of stuff that I, I talk about in other videos. And then there's also new commercial spaces coming to CUNA. So it's a little bit bigger, small town. So you have some of those amenities, you have the grocery stores, we have a lot of the fast food places and restaurants in town. Like, you know, we have McDonald's, Panda, Taco, uh, Del Taco. We have Wendy's and Taco Bell and Jersey Mike's all right in town. And yet you can live and feel like you're out in the country. Um, it's also beautiful. It doesn't have the Boise River. So you don't have a ton of the trees like you might in Middleton and Star but still a really beautiful, just small town feel, not too far from everything in Boise. The next one is Star, which I've mentioned a lot going through CUNA and Middleton. Star is located just west of Middleton. It's about 30 to 45 minutes to downtown Boise, depending on what part of Star you live in. And then it's also just above Meridian. So you have a ton of access into Meridian and all of the things that are there. You're also right next to Eagle. And so you're surrounded by all these suburbs. And this is where I was talking about earlier where Star, even though it's a small town, you get more traffic because of everyone coming through on the main highway. And so sometimes even though Star has less people than CUNA, whereas CUNA has about 35 to 40,000 people, Star can actually feel bigger at times because of kind of that crowded traffic that comes through. But the big benefit and, and beautiful part of Star is the Boise River. There's more infrastructure that Star has built out around the river versus Middleton. So you have green belts and you have places to hang out and there's city parks along the river. There's a new one called Freedom Park, which they have ponds for paddle boarding and kayaking and just hanging out. I'm, they haven't finished it yet, but it's looking like they're going to have some beach area where you can hang out. And so you have more infrastructure and beauty around the Boise River. As I mentioned, it is it feels bigger and not only that, but it's growing super fast. So there's a ton of construction everywhere and it's not gonna be too much longer before it is not as much of a small town. You do have more housing options in Star. So I mentioned a lot of the new construction and that gives you a wide range. You have older homes, you have starter homes, you have town homes, there's 55 plus communities, and then there's multi-million dollar homes and there's properties on half an acre and acre lots. So you have a ton of housing options when it comes to Star. The other thing that, that just makes it great is it is a small town It has that BLM land. You can go hunting just outside of town. You can be in the foothills and in you know state land and going for hikes 10 minutes outside of your house. And then there's two grocery stores. You have Albertsons and Ridley's. And so that's usually a, a good sign of a, a small town is there's only two small grocery stores. And then I mentioned the parks, but there's a ton of other parks and ponds to go fish at in Star, which is great, especially if you have kids and you like to, to spend time outdoors. And then Star and really all of these suburbs that I'm mentioning are extremely conservative. But one thing I always bring up with Star that is pretty unique and you don't really find in any of the other suburbs is how many American flags there are. There's a lot of neighborhoods that every single house has a flagpole with a really big American flag. So if that's something you're looking for, then you're definitely going to find that in Star. But the conservative nature, you're also going to find in CUNA and Middleton. Now, Emmett, Idaho is the, the next one. And this one is, is outside of the Treasure Valley. It's about an hour away from the Boise area. Emmett has the Payette River and Black's Creek Reservoir. So you can fish in town, you can go boating at the reservoir, and you have a lot of outdoor things here. Emmett's gonna be more of a small town feel. You're, you're more in the mountains, you're more in the foothills, so you have more hunting and fishing opportunities. You, you have hiking opportunities in the actual mountains versus the foothills and some of these other suburbs and towns that we talked about. 
when you drive through Emmett, it's its only town. There's, there's nothing surrounding it. When you come over the hill and go into Emmett, you can just see that it is a small farm town with a ton of fruit tree farms. So you have cherry trees and apple trees and peach trees, and there's always events and you can go there and just pick fruit and bring them home. And then there's farmland. And so you're gonna have more of a small town feel than any of the other suburbs because it's outside of the valley. You're also gonna have a little bit lower prices when it comes to houses. Um, it's not gonna be that much lower. It, it, the prices there have almost caught up to some of the other suburbs like Middleton and Cuna that I mentioned. But you are gonna have more land. There's just more space here. There's less development. It hasn't grown like the other cities have yet but you're gonna have a farther drive to amenities. So if you want things like Costco, or you want to go to the village in Meridian, or you wanna to go to things in Boise, or everything that just the Treasure Valley has to offer, you're gonna have about an hour to an hour and a half drive, depending on where you go and where you live. Uh, but they are building a new highway out to Emmett, so that's gonna shorten the drives quite a bit. Um, they're connecting the highway from I-84 and the interstate to that highway that goes to Emmett. And so that's gonna go right through Meridian and shorten that drive time quite a bit. The only other real con with, with Emmett, um, as far as a small town goes, is it can feel a bit, little bit more run down. The downtown area and a lot of the schools, there's a lot of complaints of rundown buildings and not as nice looking homes and streets. And so that is something that is gonna be a con versus like a Middleton or a Star or a Cuna that have more newer developments. They're a little bit nicer. The downtown areas and the homes are, are not quite as old. And so something to know about with Emmett. Hidden Springs is the next one. And this one's a, it's a little bit of, it's a small town. It's technically Boise, but it's incorporated into the city of Boise. So everyone just, it's a town of Hidden Springs, but it is the hottest real estate market in the entire valley. It's only 20 minutes from downtown. You're just north of Eagle. And so you're you're not too far, but you feel extremely isolated here. It feels like its own, a small mountain town. You feel like you just live in the mountains like you'd see in a Hallmark video. I sometimes describe it as when you drive through Hidden Springs, you have canopies of trees, and then the style of homes feels like something you would see in a Christmas Hallmark movie. Um, so it's a really beautiful town. And like I said, you feel like you're in a mountain town, but you also have a ton of wildlife preserves. There's a ton of hiking trails here. You have a really healthy lifestyle and community here. So not only do you have the trails and all of the outdoor things to do and the beauty of the mountains right in your back door, um, but there's uh, farms in Hidden Springs that are community farms. And then Dry Creek Ranch, was, which is a big development out there, um, a neighborhood, they have their own neighborhood farm as well. And so you have vegetables and fruits delivered right to your door uh, when you live in these areas. As I said, it's one of the hottest real estate markets in the Boise area. And so your price point's gonna be a lot higher than the median home here is like $950,000. So more expensive, but you do have nicer, bigger homes and a lot of them are on half acre lots or you're in the foothills with amazing views that you can't find anywhere else in the valley. Um, but you still can find homes in the $600,000 range every once in a while when they come up on the market. Right now there's a couple in those lower price points. So it is an option there if you don't have a million dollar budget to get in a little bit lower and live in this small town. Some of the outskirts of Nampa uh, are also smaller town feel and the outskirts of Caldwell, but they're not quite uh, a small town. So I would watch this video here um, where I talk about why people regret moving to Nampa, or you can watch the regret moving to Caldwell one, but they're very similar. And you'll see that even though there's small town feel, there's some issues that you can run with and, and people moving there might regret and wish they had moved to some of these small towns that we talked about. But thank you guys for watching. I look forward to meeting you in person.